Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of creating your own website. So um, hopefully you've now got your HTML code together and you've put it together how you like it. Um, everything's looking good and you're ready to style it. So um, what we're going to do is, as you can remember in our first part of this tutorial, we created um, a CSS document. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be replacing this and basically this is going to be our IE hack and basically it uses an if statement to tell the uh, browser when it's passing it it's what it's saying is if it's Internet Explorer then read from this sheet which is main IE.css however if it's not Internet Explorer so everything else apart from Internet Explorer will read style sheet text CSS main CSS um, Let's put CSS forward slash and CSS forward slash. So now when it's in Firefox it will be reading from main.css but when it's in IE it's going to be reading from main IE.css. In today's lesson we're going to be focusing on building our Firefox um, CSS up. So um, yeah hopefully you guys can follow me along with that and we'll get started after we have created a uh, copy of CSS and made main CSS. So we're going to call this main IE. And we'll just leave it like that. And we'll just deal with that sheet later. So coming back into um, my text editor, I have my main.css. And what I'm going to be saying here is star and then um, curly braces. And what star curly brace does is this will apply this element of CSS to everything in your code. So what we're going to be saying here is font to font dash family. And we're going to do a colon. And then we're going to say Arial, comma, double quotes, ms, space, trebuchet, comma, sans dash serif. And then semicolon. And this should apply, all being well, this should apply the, that font face to this document. And as you can see, there was a massive change from just your basic, uh, I'm sure you, you, you guys all know the difference. But if, if you've linked your sheets right, um, you'll have this on your screen now. And basically, to check your link when you're going through, you just want to make sure that you've definitely specified that it's going to be included in because it will always point if you've got your test server set up properly it will always point to the root folder which is going to be um, your local host and then it's going to look inside the index that you've chosen in your index.php and then in this case it's web tuts and then inside there it will look for the next folder which is CSS and the forward slash tells it to look for main CSS inside of the CSS folder so that's how you're going to check if you're um, linked up properly now what we want to do next is we want to do body and we don't want there to be any scroll any scroll bars going on on our page so what we want to do is we want to say scroll bar to x is going to be equal to I mean, sorry, not scroll bar, overflow dash x is going to be equal to none or yeah none and then overflow to y it's going to be equal to none. That's just for now. I might change that later on. If you refresh that, you won't see a difference because there is no nothing overflowing in the first place. So now I'll make it easier for us um, later on down the line. And as you can see, there is no overflowing. It just locks there, which is great. <coughs> so now what we're going to do is we've got to specify a font size for anything. So in our um, start all, we're going to say font to size. And we're going to say give everything a font size of 13 pixels, and there we go. Um, in CSS, you can also measure uh, your font size in M's, which is the actual size of the letter M. And I think there's a few more that you can do, but I can't actually recall those right now. So I'm sorry, but um, that's what we've got for now. So if we go back into our HTML, you can see we have our div here, and that's our main wrapper. But I forgot to give it a class of main wrapper. So we'll say div class is equal to main wrapper. Right, so actually not say class, we'll say ID. So 
div ID is equal to main wrapper. So here we're going to say div, and then the pound sign or the hash, whatever you call it, is equal to main wrapper. And that's equivalent to div ID is main wrapper. So everything in main wrapper is going to have a margin to the left. Oh wait, I forgot to set the margins up here. The margin um, for all of our document is going to be auto. So this will set our margins to auto for everything. So that's why everything gets locked in the top now. Right, and now we can start specifying where we're going to be putting stuff. So we're going to give our main wrapper a margin left of say uh, 500 pixels. Um, and that will put it over there and we can just play with this until we get it to where we actually want it to be so let's say 400 maybe 300 alright you guys can play with this as much as you like I'm not going to go crazy right now in the positioning of this but 350 looks pretty nice on my screen now what we want to say is oh what's going to say we want to give it a width of 800 pixels and because everything's contained inside of this div ID main wrapper, that means everything inside of this div is going to have a width of 800 pixels. So now, just give you a visual representation of that. Let me bring this up. It's got a width of 800 pixels because uh, blah, 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 okay, main wrapper. As you can see, when I highlight it, it stretches off that way. But it, how can I? How can I? Make, Right now you can see the blue ends here, right? So it's got a width of 800 pixels. But I'm starting to think 800 pixels is a bit. No, it's not much at all. Um, that's fine because that's 100% there. Right. So I don't want to have this so far over really. Um, I'm going to bring that back to say 250 margin. whatever um, <coughs> so we have our margin to left of that and we've given it a width and then we're going to say we can give everything inside of this a border of one pixel of solid uh, we're going to go for a really sort of dark darkish grey so 8f 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 so that's a hash key so now we've got a border around our div like that um, and if we really want to we can put the width of this down a little bit if you don't think it looks nice but anyhow, all right. So now in our homepage.html, we have a div ID of header, so we can go div ID header, and he's going to have a padding to the bottom of five pixels, and this will push the hello down. See, that will push that down, and then he's going to have a border on the bottom of one pixel of solid. So he's going to have that board on the bottom as well, and he's going to have a padding on the top of him, padding to the top. And I'm going to say, give him about five pixels from the top as well, so you're not squashed all the way up at the top. And then I'll give him a padding to the left as well, with five pixels too. Doesn't need any padding from the right, but padding to the left looks good. Um, and then if we come back to our homepage again, we have a div ID for main content. So let's specify that. There's a div ID is equal to main content. Open our brackets up. And we're going to say you're going to have a padding of left of five pixels. You're going to have a padding, padding to top of five pixels. You're going to have a padding to the bottom of five pixels. Right, and by doing that, you get this spaced out a lot nicer. Um, and then, obviously, these list elements have been ignored because that's contained, that's concerned within the footer. So that's why nothing's gone on there. So if we look back in our HTML again, we're going to have a div ID of footer. So div ID footer is going to inherit the same properties as this. So we're just going to copy all of this over paste it in there right and then hopefully I will do that so that looks nice and um, I think it's text of decoration hopefully I know what it does 
Um, just a side here, I don't really like the, the line, the list elements because the dots look a bit tacky. So, um, I'm going to change those to. Sorry, that's the wrong thing. Um, <coughs> going to change those to P tags instead. Literally, I don't think I've ever tried running through a website as quick as this. This is really bad. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and then we're going to give them a smaller font size, font size of uh, 10 pixels. I don't really care what you bugger. That's because I gave everything a font size of 13 pixels up here. I should be saying that in here. There we go. <coughs> no, everything's got. That's right. And then. Welcome to my YouTube tutorial where you specified. You're specified in H1. So in div ID header. Div ID header H1. We're going to set a font size of the, the 14 pixels. So it's not dramatically huge in comparison. Not 14, let's say 17 pixels. That looks nice. And then we're going to give this header um, a background of let's say a light grey I don't know guys I'm just going for anything right now got a nice light grey background I don't know look at that that looks all fussy a prick let's do it 090 that would be really dark black, black. And then we're going to give it a, we're going to give the header, the actual text header, the colour of C8, C8, C8. What are we going to say? F8, F8, F8. A F8, F8. So now we have sort of like a greyed out sort of um, top part that really not really like that. Really like right, we're going to keep that. And then our main content, you're going to have a background of C8, C8, C8. And then to specify the paragraph within that, we're going to say div ID, main content, and our paragraph within there. Is going to be equal to a colour of um, 090909. And then now it will be reverse colours. Oh, I'm sorry. Eesh. And our foot is going to have the same properties as well. And we're going to get a border to the top of one pixel of solid AF, AF, AF. Um, and that's just a basic, proper basic layout that we can have. Um, literally, guys, it doesn't look nice at all. Um, Gotta try and to make this stay in the centre. That's it. Shit. Margin to left is going to be auto. So that margin to auto here as well. I think because I haven't actually. I'm not going to auto my margins up here anymore. Just going to get rid of that. I'm going to do that. Oof. This looks so tacky. Alright, we'll keep it like this for now. Um, because I haven't really got time to uh, play around. Because that is fine. It is floating in the right place. And it is um, going where it's meant to be. 
but because I am on a dodgy zoom sort of height on here, that's right. Now, margin to the left. Oh, fucking hell, you idiot. Margin to the left. Let's say, I'm going to put 500 pixels over to the left, and then we should call it quits. Alright guys, I'm going to pause this 